Superficial punctate keratitis is a common ocular surface disorder that involves the corneal epithelium. It is an ocular surface disease characterized by the presence of multiple small round superficial corneal erosions or punctate epithelial lesions on the cornea. Superficial punctate keratitis can be caused by a variety of factors, including dry eye syndrome, contact lens wear, ocular surface diseases, environmental factors such as exposure to wind or dust, trauma, and infectious agents such as viral or bacterial infections. Dry eye syndrome is one of the most common causes of superficial punctate keratitis. It occurs when the eyes do not produce enough tears or when the quality of the tears is poor. This can lead to inflammation and damage to the corneal epithelium, resulting in the formation of the superficial punctate keratitis lesion. Contact lens wear, especially if the lens are not properly cleaned and disinfected, can increase the risk of developing superficial punctate keratitis. Exposure to environmental irritants such as wind, dust, smoke and air pollution may be another cause. Among the environmental irritants, it is also worth noting keratitis due to ultraviolet radiation due to exposure without adequate protection. There are frequent cases of inadequate exposure to ultraviolet rays on sunny days and snow or beach, tanning lamps and welding. Viral and bacterial infections, such as herpes simplex virus and chlamydia trachomatis, can also cause superficial punctate keratitis. The pathophysiology involves the disruption of the normal integrity of the corneal epithelium, leading to the exposure of the underlying nerve fendings, which causes pain and discomfort. The disruption of the epithelial barrier also leads to the loss of tear film stability, which further exacerbates the symptoms of dryness and discomfort. The clinical presentation of superficial punctate keratitis includes symptoms such as ocular irritation, discomfort and pain, photophobia and foreign body sensation. In cases of actinic keratitis, due to exposure to ultraviolet rays, the symptoms appear a few hours after exposure and they usually present very intense pain, significant photophobia, blepharospasm and tearing. Patients may also experience visual disturbance, such as blurred vision and decreased visual acuity, especially if the erosions are located in the visual axis. In severe cases, it can lead to corneal scarring and permanent vision loss. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential for preventing long-term complications. Diagnosis is typically made by a comprehensive eye examination, including a thorough history, visual equity test, and a slit lamp examination. We consider the fluorescein eye stain test the most important. The fluorescein temporarily stains damaged areas of the cornea, making it possible to see affected areas that are not otherwise visible, as we can see in this image. The presence of multiple small, round and discrete epithelial lesions on the cornea is a key diagnostic feature to superficial punctate keratitis. The second eye, Rosvengol, is actually a derivative of fluorescein. 
Research on Ross Bengal has revealed that it's blocked from staining of the ocular surface where molecules such as mucins, albumin, or even an artificial tear compound such as carboxymethyl cellulose are present. Thus, in areas where there are breaks in tear film integrity or a dysfunction in the production of the tear film components, rose bengal can penetrate the ocular surface, where it stains by localizing primarily in cellular nuclei and, to a lesser degree, in other organelles. Somehow, we can say that the rose bengal is going to show us those cells in metabolic suffering. Additional tests may be performed to determine the underlying cause of superficial puntate keratitis, such as a Schirmer test to measure tear production or a culture to identify any bacterial or viral infections. Treatment of superficial puntate keratitis involves identifying and addressing the underlying cause of the condition. In cases where dry eye syndrome is the cause, Treatment may include the use of artificial tears, other topical lubricants, and puntal plugs. Lubricating eye drops may be prescribed to help relieve symptoms and promote healing of the corneal epithelium. Contact lens wearers may need to discontinue lens use, temporarily or permanently, or switch to a different type of lens. In cases of infectious agents, appropriate topical or systemic antibiotics or antiviral agents may be required. In severe cases of superficial puntate keratitis, topical corticosteroids may be necessary to reduce inflammation, promote healing and prevent scarring. Prevention includes avoiding exposure to environmental irritants such as smoke and dust, maintaining good hygiene practices when handling contact lenses, using lubricating eye drops regularly if you have dry eyes, and seeking prompt treatment for ocular surface diseases or any eye infections. A special mention of protection from ultraviolet rays, mandatory welding and tanning lamps, and that we must remember and apply in cases of sun exposure, especially if this exposure is accelerated by reflection, as in the case of snow, sun or beach, and especially in children. Regular eye examinations are also important for detecting and treating superficial puntate keratitis early, before it causes permanent damage of the cornea. Patients with dry eye syndrome should also be educated on proper management techniques, such as the use of artificial tears and the avoidance of exacerbating factors. Superficial puntate keratitis is a common ocular surface disease that can be caused by a variety of factors. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential for preventing long-term complications, such as coronary scarring and permanent vision loss. By taking preventive measures, such as maintaining good hygiene practices, and seeking prompt treatment for any eye infections, you can reduce your risk of developing superficial puntate keratitis and protect your vision. If you experience any symptoms of superficial puntate keratitis, such as a pain, redness or sensitivity to light, it is important to seek prompt medical attention from an eye care professional.